Hello everyone! I'm back and sorry if you hear screaming children like I don't know my neighbors um I think grandchildren came and they're just screaming but yes yeah, so you can see here's my txt binder and I have a lot of things to put away first I wanted to do something so here's my binder and as you can see I was trying to collect Jun and Subin for creating album photo cards and I tried to put all of these together and the group photo cards but something just bothers me it might be just me yeah I think it's just me <laughs> but I don't like when the nine pockets are not filled I feel it's a waste of space and I always need to buy more and more nine pocket sleeves and I just don't like it. So I always feel the need to fill in the nine pockets. That's why I did this with this because I wanted to fill one nine pocket with photo cards. But it looks so ugly to be honest. And the same with here. I was trying to do um, DVD photo cards, like pre-order photo cards, fan side photo cards. I wanted to kind of put them together to fill nine pockets and I put fillers um like it's just not cute so I made the decision to have a mini binder um this is the binder that they sold in their fan life merch I bought one it came with a photo with a photo but I put John June because I am going to move all of my John Jung photo cards and maybe some bigger inclusions if they fit in this binder. I feel it will look way better because it's not as empty. <laughs> and I kind of already put some sleeves, some I had to make, like this one I had to cut out a big nine pocket sleeve. Um, some uh, already came with the binder, this one came with the binder, and this one I had to cut and make. So I didn't buy any of these sleeves, I just cut some bigger sleeves and made them. <laughs> the only ones that I bought were these four pockets, but I'll link that below, but the rest I just made it. So, but yeah, here's the, I'm going to try and move all of my John Jung photo cards in this little binder and I think I'm going to leave I might move Sue into but I think I'm going to leave the bigger inclusions here but first let's do John Jun so I need to take all of his photo cards out and actually I'm going to sleeve them because you'll see why Also, if you're wondering what sleeves I'm using to sleeve the bigger cards, it's this size. They're actually a little bit bigger. Let me try with this sewing. So, they fit perfectly on the width, but the length, um, they're a little bit bigger. So, I just, I don't cut them by hand because I cut crooked, but I have a, a paper cutter and it actually cuts the plastic perfectly. So, I use that. And I use the thin ones, but they're thicker ones. So I actually decided to change all my sleeves for this brand because they're cheaper and they're thicker and they're really good material. So I'm using these two for the mini binders. I mostly use them um, to double sleeve. I will put this and this. If I don't have to double sleeve, I'll only use this one. And this one, uh, which is the green one, I use for the bigger binders like this one so because if I was using dragon shield but it's just too expensive I pay like $20 for all of these and I have another one of these so that's pretty good if you ask me but yeah I use that Okay, so I think I'm finished with photo cards. Um, I'm not sure about the Lystic photo cards. I don't think I want to separate them from the group ones because it looks cute all together. And the postcards probably won't 
it so then all of these are gonna stay here here's his frame i might move it mm, i'll just put it here just in case and i don't think i have anything else for the car size for john Jun. okay so let me move john Jun first i actually separated all of john Jun inclusions right here these are like kind of big ones and his photo cards okay here they are um i also have his fang life stuff but i don't know if i want to put it in a little binder i am conflicted but let's begin with the photo cards so okay here's this pocket that i saved for the first photo cards which are the big ones i will probably like to put them at the back because they're big but since they're in kind of chronological order i'll leave them at the front so these are uh, kind of bigger pockets so they will fit but they will stick out at the top but that's why I sleeve them so I won't be that mad that they stick out so they won't get damaged with the sleeve. Okay, and here are the four cards for the first album, mini albums for TXT. They look so cute. And yeah, you can see the bags are really pretty too. And next we go on with the smaller ones which are these so if i go chronologically these ones will go first because i were first but the thing is that these sleeves are um bigger on top but smaller on the bottom so if you know these photo cards uh, they are bigger than your normal nice sleeves pocket so if I put it at the bottom, they will stick out. But they are a sleeve, so it won't bother me as much. But since they actually fit all the way like this on the top, I'm just going to switch the place and put them at the top. And these ones, I'm going to put them at the bottom. Which is not chronologically correct, but it, they still look good. They're next to each other. So, okay, and next will be Blue Hour photo cards, which are these two and this one. I don't, I'm not gonna put this one with this because. It's just not, it's not gonna look good and also I have another plan for this photo card. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to put the lucky draw there. I only have two lucky draws and I don't know if I'm gonna get more because they're so expensive and I was so lucky to get these two for like a decent price. Like I got this one for um... $25 because it was a little bit scratched. I don't think you can even see it through the sleeve, but it's a little bit scratched by his chin. So I got it for $25 and I got this one in Mercari Japan for $30. And back then I bought this one when they were not as overpriced and I bought it for $35. And I was like, oh my god, this is so expensive. And later, like, the price sky rocketed, like, a week later. And I'm like, wait, I'm actually thankful I bought this for at that price. And it's a really cute one. So I'm just gonna put them here. They kind of got together, you know? So I wanted to put the lucky draws there. Cute. And I kind of... I don't know if I want to do the pre-order for Blue Hours next or I want to do DVDs and all of the season readings. Okay, I think I'm going to just do 
other um, inclusions. So I'm going to do DVDs, memories, and all of that. So I think I wanted to do memories. Actually, yeah. I think I'm going to move this one and I'm going to do the season greetings inclusions. And yeah, I think there's going to be a random space right there. I would put a black paper, I would put a white sleeve, but they don't fit in these pockets, so I'll just cut white paper later and put it on the back so it looks better. And uh, cute! <laughs> later, I want to do the Japanese photo court, the DVD photo court, and this photo court. And yeah. So. I'm going to put the two uh, photo book photo cards on top. So I'm going to put Bongyu Jonjun first because Bongyu is older than Hyun and Kai just because that, that's the only reason. <laughs> I'm going to put the pre-order card for Eternity. <laughs> it's so cute in this photo card. And his Japanese Weaver's card. I actually wanted to collect the Wow Wow card and I wanted the other Japanese cards like for drama but you know what, I'm, I'm happy with these, I, they're too expensive and I'm just gonna let them go <laughs> and they look cute, like I decided to put them together because Jung Jung has yellow hair in all of them so I think they look cute together And I think I wanted to do pre-order cards here, kind of. So I wanted to begin with the clear cards, this Polaroid, and this one. So I'm going to put the album card first, but like I said, these white sleeves don't fit. So I'm going to just leave them clear for now. I'm going to put white paper later. And here they are. So I don't know if you can see it, but this is a similar kind of concept, which is like Polaroid, like white borders and transparent cards. So that's why I decided to put them together. And yeah, I put the group card because like I didn't have any other Jun Jun thing that would fit in here. And now we can do the rest of the pre-order cards. Well, kind of. Not really pre-order, but yeah. So we have the Yishu one, the Season Greetings, and the Weaver's Shop one. So yes, I decided to separate the Season Greetings from the other groups. You'll see why. But yeah. And I actually want like something to put in here. I also had a pre filler right here. <laughs> and next I'm going to do the Japanese photo cards. I bought the full set, so Okay, if I remember right, this is uh, like the normal photo card that comes with the normal edition. This is the pre-order, I think this is the pre-order from Universal, the pre-order from Universe, and I think this is Weaver's shop pre-order and I did it, I think this is HMB, I might be wrong though. <laughs> and that's pretty much it for Jung Jung photo cards and I wanted to put his broadcast here too. I only have two. It's not like I have a lot. I have one on the way though. And I have the devil and the angel one. So someone, when I did a trade, someone gave me this leaf. So I'm going to keep one of these in this leaf. I actually want to buy a packet. And I, they're ultra pro because of the thing. But I can't find this size anywhere. So I don't know where to buy them. But yeah. So I'm going to put the angel one here and the devil one on top. They fit like good. <laughs> so his broadcasts are going to go here. I have the blue hour 
on the way i'm so excited to have it and put it in here and i have his uh, season greetings ticket thing fairy card it's damaged as you can see and i was planning on selling it and like try and trade my suing for another dungeon but i decided to just keep it because at this point i don't even know if i'm gonna find trades and i don't want to revive this card again and it doesn't it's damaged but in the binder if you look at it like this it doesn't look that bad and I'm going to have an empty space here. And I have the fan life cards. I don't know what I want to do with these, to be honest. Because I have all of these. And I don't know if I want to take the light stick photo card and put it here. And I also have the units. But I'm so happy I completed all of uh, genuine photo cards for fan life. It was really fan trading for it, a little bit stressful, but I finished it. So for this one, I think I wanted to do a special page for the holo card. I wanted to put it like, because I want the holo card, I wanted to look at the back. And you can see, you can see the back from here. And I have this two and this one. I think I want to put these two together, so I'm going to put his unit next to the holo card. And at the bottom, it's like space for like a postcard or a group card. Uh, let me see if I have something that fits in there. So I actually have this photo that came with the binder in front, but I'm just going to put it here. So, it looks cute. <laughs> I think it's gonna fit in here. It's right here. So I'm just gonna put it here because it doesn't really fit any in any other place. And I'm gonna store it open because if I close it, it's gonna be way too bulky. I got I got some of Jonjun's bigger inclusions. And I think they fit in here. Even though they are... Um... Oh no, this one doesn't fit. Do you fit? This one does. They are side loaders, so I'm a little bit scared that they will like slip out. <laughs> Cute. So sad. This one didn't fit, but it's fine. I'll just put it uh, in my big binder with the other members because yeah, I think this one might fit in like on the back of this one. It does. Should I just leave it like that? Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that. So I actually decided to put the fan life photo cards and I think I'm going to do them before these. So I didn't have enough space for the units, but I'm not worrying about those. So I also have these selfie ones. I'm gonna put it here. Oh, this one, I didn't make holes for this one. So let me make some. And I have this one, and I have this two. I was thinking I can maybe put the units in this one, but they don't really fit with the sleeves. And I don't know if I wanna just put them without sleeves in there. And this one, I need a place to put this one too, so I think I'm just gonna put it at the back. And I might as well move this one here I move this one right here okay it doesn't look that bad and I have the units right here I think one fits in here 
and this one. Um, I'll put it at the back right here. <laughs> I think I'm finished with John Jun. Uh, I put the stickers out of camera, but these are his stickers. And yeah, so now um, let me do the other ones. So I got some new sleeves. And for now, I'm going to put them all the way at the back, but I'll be probably move them around and get some dividers. But. Oh, I forgot these don't fit on um, the three ring. So I probably need to make some holes. Okay, let me just make the holes. Okay, so I had to make some holes because I kind of forgot about it. <laughs> but uh, I think right now I'm going to do the OT4 sets. That's why I put John Jung all by himself. So I can just put the OT4 sets together. I'm actually missing a Hyunin Kai for here. I have a Hyunin Kai, but... I have version R, I don't have the version um, AR, so I'm just gonna put a placeholder right here for Hyun and Kai. Hopefully, I find a trade or something. Do station greetings. And the Japanese pre order photo cards. I got a full set, so. Yeah, I'll just keep them all. Sorry if it's crooked. <laughs> and that's set for the OT4 sets. And now I'm just, I just have sewing. A lot of sewing. Okay, I'm back. I literally had to cut some sleeves because I ran out of them. <laughs> but yeah, so now let me go ahead and put sewing. For this one, I don't have his um, other version, so I just put it here, and I have this group photo card. Uh, I know this one is not soothing, but I have him, so might as well just put him in here. <laughs> For this one, I have these two pre-order photo cards and this lucky draw, so I have like a hole here, but I'm just gonna leave it like that. Um, for this one, I wasn't really planning on collecting his Japanese photo cards, but somehow I ended up with three of the four, so... <laughs> Yeah. Okay, and I put his bigger staff on the back. I did it differently from John Jun because soothing is not really chronological order. It's just the way I like them better. So I also need to to make a divider so I can put um, one between Yeonjun and the other members. For now I have this as my divider but I need to make one so yeah I can maybe just make one right now with paper. Let me see if I can make. So I'm going to try and make a divider real quick with some cardstock. So I'll just take this one as a template. Okay, so let me make the hole. 
I brought my paper cutter because I cannot cut straight. And here it is, a pretty simple divider. I did it a bit I did it a little bit longer because soon when it goes to the back it's the pages go longer first. So reason. So here's my binder, my mini binder. Um if it's supposed to be for John Jim, but I put the other members because why not? But when it gets um bigger and fuller, I'll probably move them. But yeah, let me do a flip through actually. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I know it's probably way too long, but yeah, I just wanted to move everything in here. I think it looks better. Like I said, I, I don't like when the nine pocket is not full. It's something just personally, I don't like it. So I prefer to have everything in four pockets and just fill them up. I feel more, it's more satisfying too. And yeah, that's it. I hope you liked it. And I really recommend buying this binder. I think it's still available in the weaver shop. So if you want to buy one, you should totally go buy one. It's so cute. But you can also just buy a mini binder. I saw them at the dollar store. They have mini binders at the dollar store for like $1, of course. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Bye.